Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. I am Starco Gaming, and guys, today I am bringing the roasting to you guys. Yes, this is a new weekly video segment, guys. Roaster review video. It's pretty simple. Let's go on my announcement post so you guys know how it actually work. Here, let's put on full screen actually. So that was my post four days ago, guys, on my community page on my YouTube channel. Hey guys, your favorite French Canadian is here once again with this terrible English announcing a new weekly video segment coming to the channel, MFF Weekly Roaster Review. To get your roaster review, it's pretty simple, you go on the Discord server, you have to actually the link in the description below the video, guys, in, in the pinned comment section, um, enter the channel Roaster Review, I'm going to show that to you guys in a sec. Uh, then you enter your IGN in-game name for people who don't know the term with how you want your roster to be reviewed. Then every Friday I will upload a video on the YouTube channel with all answers to your wonderful questions. And guys, nobody, nobody will be treated like a new. I don't care if you started to play the game five minutes ago, you are still going to be treated like a valid customer, guys. So now if we actually jump on the Discord server here, you can see, you, by clicking the link it will bring you to that server. All you gotta do is go on the channel list on the left side or you press the button uh, on the phone app, whatever, for uh, the channel list to pop. Then you go down to, because usually you should start with this channel or yeah, that should be the channel you enter. Then you press on the roster review, you're gonna enter uh, IGN. Uh, I smell bad, space, uh, I don't want to be a noob anymore, help me with my cards. There, you just got enter for the next roster review. So it's pretty it's pretty simple guys, it's pretty easy, uh, that is all you gotta do. So let's get started with the number one on the list here, Spasmantic Penda, IGN 1223331111, okay we're gonna copy paste this one actually. <laughs> was wondering on what characters I should uh, upgrade for wall boss ultimate so let's go back in the game here let's enter the IGN now if you give me the wrong IGN I will not be able to check you out because uh, some people do a typo in the IGN make sure you double check guys because if it's the wrong well I gotta pass you because I'm not gonna contact you. It's a video I'm recording. I don't have time to contact people. It's a live recording, so meaning that I'm not editing, I'm not doing anything, it's just we're going all the way in. So Wall Boss Ultimate Character. Let's see. Let's see. We got Sharon Rogers that can do it pretty easy here. Uh, oh yeah, need a lot of work on this account. Okay, that's okay, that's okay, there's nothing bad about that. So if we look at the characters that are tier 2 and that can actually do uh, wall boss ultimate, you got Doctor Strange. I actually recommend giving uh, Doctor Strange um, definitely, unless you use Doctor Strange for PvP, even if you use it for PvP, just the lack of uh, immunity to card break here is actually not worth a CTP of transmit. So I'll switch Doctor Strange with the immunity to guard break and cross Obelisk so we can actually go in the wall boss ultimate with him easy mode then you have Sharon Roger Sharon Roger seems to be built pretty well so you got two guys so far uh, Captain America not tier 3 so not, val not valid uh, Iron Man can actually do uh, under stage 30 if you get the most recent uniform and give him a damage plus you already got that a lightning damage action not good on him uh, then but damage plus is okay so for now it, even with this custom gear it can actually do something you do need to go get him a easel set that's for sure uh, offensive easel set either power knee grill overdrive or uh, archives easel sets you want to put down him give him a, maybe a critical damage obelisk with frost but just the frost is fine enough for the 15 first floor and just get the most recent uniform one uniforms on sale which is actually right now so uh, you can actually pick up his uniform and do something good with him so that gives you three characters already 
Now, you've got Proxima. Proxima, if she get her uniform, she can actually do it, but she's quite a good invest. As she quite expensive investment in my opinion, so I not fully recommend her. So, from that, the next one that on your list will be Deadpool and Quicksilver. So, build those characters. For the physical, they will help you a lot. Uh, so that will be my, my process right now. Build your Deadpool to tier 2 properly. Build your Quicksilver to tier 2 properly. Uh, fix that uh, Doctor Strange. Fix that Iron Man. And that will give you along the way 5 characters that can actually progress through World Boss Ultimate. And with the state of your account, I think that will be a very, very, very good start. Uh, uh, what was your name? Spasmatic Panda, that will be a very good start. Now, if we take a quick look at your cards, because I like to check people's cards, guys, to make sure they're going with a good way. See, their cards, your cards are not good. Your cards are not good, they need to be upgraded by far. You do have good attack speed, but that's the only good things you got here. Your cooldown need to work, your in your defense need to work. So, let's see what we can actually do about those cards. Let's go see cards one by one. This need gone. Disney Gun, Disney Gun, Disney Gun, yeah, I don't like it, uh, yeah, I don't like it, and this, Disney Gun, so, the five cards you're actually going to start with, by replacing them, you want to replace them with mythical cards, obviously, so if we go in the card section here, I'll give you the five cards of my choice, uh, cards here, Let's go in cards collection. First card, you want to get the Loki card here. Uh, Loki card is awesome. Get it to mythical, you'll get good option on it. Then you want to go with the Marvel Zombie card here. Cooldown again. That gets your cooldown pretty close. After that, you want to go with Secret War 2099 Limb variant here. Attack speed in your defense. Then a card, card number four, you want to go with the finisher cards right here in your defense attack speed. In the fifth card, you got a few options. Uh, the one that's been really popular lately, and I do have to agree that uh, it's better than uh, my other choices in the past, is shield cards number 12. Actually, a very good card. You get critical damage, you get all attack. You will push here for energy attack. You will push here for attack speed, you will push here for critical rate, and you push here for cooldown. Obviously, that's a perfect roll. If you only get cooldown, I'm good with it to be honest. So, those are the 5 cards you want to work in, and once you actually get that done, uh, Mr. Panda, that's going to be easier to say your full name, come back to me and we will do some more work on your account. Also, just one thing, I can see you do not have a 6 stars uh, tour, I think? Do you? Oh no, you do. Okay, but just a little reminder, guys. When you actually enter Legendary Battle Normal mode with specific well, for from specific uh, mission, they actually give you a six star character for free. So it's actually a very great way to get your six stars Black Panther, your six stars Thor. Uh, there's other ones too. I don't know which one exactly you can get from there. But there's a, a bunch of them, so it's a really good thing to do. I think you can get Ant-Man too. I'm not fully confident. I never got them personally, so it's always the feedback I got from other people. So that is a good thing to do. So, first account review, guys. Second account, we got Mr. Blossom Azure. I'll do my cards and custom gear look. I focus mainly on PvE content, not so much for PvP plus characters with Steady Super Armor will not get immune to guard break from me. Thanks, my man. If you focus on PvE, your Super Armor uh, characters do not need immunity to guard break anyway. It's only if you focus PvP that uh, immunity to guard break is needed on some characters, even if they have Super Armor. So here, let's jump in here, copy paste. Let's see. First, we're gonna take a quick look at the cards. All cards effect. See, now is actually perfect set of cards. A non, well, semi-well set of cards. We got uh, four premium cards. 
in a good card here actually the roll is actually perfect on it so I will not touch it uh, the base stats for cards guys is pretty simple 26% cooldown 30% uh, ignore defense 18% attack speed that's the you know the best settings for those stats and we have that here so honestly I don't recommend anything else and we have um, almost 60% energy attack and 45% physical attack so I don't see anything that needs to be changed on those cards as a PvE focus so we're gonna keep those cards that's for sure now we wanted to know what was the next part um I'll do my okay custom custom gear look so let's go first one this guy this guy that looks great a CTP of destruction will be better but not needed um, to be honest if you don't worry too much about PvP then we got Captain America if you do not worry about PvP you should get a CTP of energy on this guy or a critical damage plus plus on this guy then we got Sharon CTP of energy that is good we got this guy this guy you should actually get him uh, not this one but the one that uh, I think it transcendence or whatever patient I don't remember the name the one that actually gives you dodge should go on your spider-man for pvp wise then we got Tor Tor you should add that's actually pretty good pretty good I'm not gonna complain about that then we got here here you actually want to keep that that's good damn good nobilis man uh, this guy that is good enough if you don't have a CTP energy for him this guy I'm guessing you build him for pvp if you actually want to transition into pve you actually want to get critical rate plus plus on this guy next we have cable ctp of energy that is good strife a uh, build for pvp on what i can see here if you want to build him for pve you want to give him critical damage plus plus or ctp of energy or ctp of destruction uh i think we're getting pretty close to what we're gonna do for pve here let me just check the rest oh we got luna Luna, cold damage, critical damage, 160, that is very, very good. Apocalypse, we got CTP of energy. We are getting to the bottom now. We got Ghost, critical that actually Ghost, you're gonna put critical damage plus plus on her. Uh, for speed, a super villain characters are on the stream, only day she's actually useful in any kind of but then I actually want to get the uniform for Earth 2. And, 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 uh, I think we're missing Morgan Le Fay here, if I'm not mistaken. That's actually the only Alliance Battle Extreme characters you actually missing. Yeah. Uh, Morgan Le Fay, again, you're going to pop critical damage plus plus on her once you get her to uh, tier 2. And that's going to be the way for Earth to be done. So. If we focus your cards and obelisk, you're doing very good. A little change on obelisk, as I mentioned. Other than that, not much else to say about your account, buddy. A very, very great build account. Uh, you mean doing your own wards? I can tell you that. Next, who's next? We got AR Iron. Great murder name, I'm sorry. Okay, we're gonna copy that. Now, I can you review my post, my roster cards and character build and tell me what should I change in them? So I play PvE content more. I am currently focusing on getting to Vibranium League. Thanks in advance. Okay, Vibranium League is actually quite easy. Play manually. Most characters play manually can actually get you over 50% of winning rate. Are very very easy. That is the key. If you play timeline battle on, on autoplay and you're going to have a very very hard time to stay uh, in the Vibrant League that's for sure okay so first thing cards all cards effect first you don't have the cooldown uh, needed you don't have the ignore defense needed and you don't have the attack speed needed those those baseline are so important and mostly 90% of the time I review people roster this is something they are lacking so this is something everybody mostly everybody needs to work on so first Loki card that's good that's not good that's not good that's not good and that is good so you got three cards to replace here first you're gonna replace that Marvel zombie here with the other Marvel zombie 
you can replace the Sacred Ward of Battle World with Punisher number 19 cards that we show in the first roster review. And here you can replace that Captain America 22 with a Secret War 2099 limb variant card as we shown in the first real story review on this video too and that will fix all your stats pretty much just to make sure that one of the finisher or secret war has cooldown duration on it as fun assumption and you'll be all good buddy you will be all good next you're trying to get into vibram league that we get it Next, let's see uh, your roster honestly you could get it done just with Earth. Uh, with Earth 2. With M2. Uh, it's very simple. Just play manually and just uh, make sure you use the proper skills, pretty much. Bring uh, <clears throat> characters that will actually remove debuff most of the time. So you have. Uh, what well, we have? Well, I don't think you have anybody to remove debuff right now at tier 2. Nope. So that's something you need to work on. My my guess will be get her to tier two will be the easiest fix here. Get her to tier two that will give you um, your debuff removal. Then you'll be able to pop, for example, um, you bring her and him in, in your uh, your timeline battle, and you'll be able to get this done pretty pretty easy mode. Both are very strong. Or she will do crowd control. She will she will remove immunity to guard break from uh, opponents too with the proper skills. So she's actually a kick ass, and him has a big uh, eye frame if um, and big ability if you actually give him immunity to guard break will wreck your world in uh, in time of battle without a problem. So that is what I will do. Get him uh, get this guy immunity to guard break with uh, invincibility. Her, keep her like that. In uh, Wasp, in Wasp, all you're gonna do too is give her immunity to guard, immunity to guard break with invincibility, and that's all you gotta do for that. And you'll be by poop, Vivarin League every week except when your characters are a block until you can actually get better characters to put in there with them. Pretty much, it's very easy. And once you get that Doctor Strange to six stars, you could probably replace your Scar Twitch. With Doctor Strange with a new S in your form with immunity to guard break and invincibility again. So that's my recommendation for you buddy to actually make it in timeline pretty easy to get that extra uh, extra amount of crystal you can get weekly from it. Next, we got one more us to review guys. We got Mr. Tier 2 Ockley asking me. I game name Stomega Cards Roaster Wall Bus Ultimate Improvement, please. Okay, so Stomega, let's go in. By the way, I name him Tier 2 Auckland because I was messing it with him the other day. <laughs> okay, let's put Stomega in here. Oh my god, it's right here. Okay, first thing we're gonna check is cards. Okay. I checked your roster a few times, Stomega. I told you how to fix your cards a few times, so this time, hopefully, you're going to listen to me because your cards are holding you back so much. So much. Attack, physical attack, energy attack is so useless if you don't have the attack speed, the cooldown, and the ignore defense. You won't. It won't matter if you have damage if you cannot get the hits done or if the the hits are reduced by defense, it's not gonna matter. Or if you cool down, uh, you know, your cooldown lasts 10 seconds instead of 7 seconds, you cannot sync your cross and that shit. You need to fix those cards. So, first thing here, you need to replace that with a Marvel zombie card. I think. Nah, wait. Nah, not a Marvel zombie card. Your cooldown is already at 20, right? 18, okay. You just need to get button assumption on one of the side cards to get that. So sadly, we need to get rid of her here because you will not replace that. You will reroll that to get useful stats on the last three stats. You will reroll that to get good stats on the last three stats. Then here you will get a finisher 19 cards for attack speed in your defense. 
In here, you actually have to replace this card anyway, the roll on it is trash. You know, replace this card with a Secret Squad 2099 limb variant. So, you get your attack speed in your defense, and plus, you will make sure that one of those two cards have increased kill cooldown on it as bonus option. And this card here, this card needs to be rerolled too. Guys, when you actually put cards on your account, don't just put cards to put cards because that's useless. You gotta put cards that have the proper stats. If you have a, a mythical card with shit bonus option, it's not going to do anything good for you. You need to take a card with good bonus option. So you put the optimal cards, like those three cards are actually amazing cards. If you set up the good bonus option, one of them, two of them should have uh, extra attack speed in your defense on them attack. You know, there's so many bonus options you can have on those cards that it should be so much better than 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 those stats with the all cards effect. It's really, really important to roll cards proper, properly, guys. So, cards done. Next, uh, we're talking about wall bus improvement, right? Uh, wrong place. Uh, wall bus improvement. Okay. So, first of all, just by fixing your cards you will do the biggest improvement you can do for your world boss ultimate teams you already have tier 3 cap ctpf energy you already have tor well that's not good though you want to actually get lightning damage plus frost you got level 70 sharon rogers with the shit obelisk you need to get critical damage plus frost um you got deadpool here again you need to get critical damage with frost, immunity guard break with frost, whatever. Um, then you got Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange, you need to get immunity to immunity to guard break with frost or invincibility. Um, you got Thanos here. This is not a good obelisk for Thanos. You need to give him uh, for offensive critical damage plus frost for defensive immunity to guard break with anything. Uh, you got Cable here. Cable, what is that, man? I don't want to be mean, but what is that? You need critical damage plus plus on this guy, or CTPF energy is actually optimal on this guy. Um, Scarlet Twitch here. What is that? Man, you need mind damage on her. Mind damage. If you can put invincibility on her, you need immunity to guard break if you want to build her for PvP. But other than that, you need mind damage plus plus. That is mandatory on her. What about this guy? No obelisk on Gambit. Gambit is like top 5 characters for World Boss Ultimate. You need to put obelisk on him. You need a damage plus on him. The other stat doesn't matter. Uh, you can go with Ignore Dodge and was my what was what I did. Ignore Dodge plus plus that will give him a good good boost. And I think we did enough for now. Work on those obelisks. Make sure you get offensive visual set on all those characters and you will be doing so much better in World Boss Ultimate and fix your cards. Most important, fix your cards. And guys, that was actually the last real start of review of the week. So again guys, you want to get review, it's easy. You click on that Discord link below the video in the comment section in the pinned comment you join the discord server and you post right here on this roaster review channel guys and i will check you out on that guys don't forget to hit the sub button don't forget to hit the like button and guys i will see you again next week with one another episode of mff roaster review